Yeah! What? What in God's name happened to your face? What? Your face, man. Your face. Oh, this? Yeah, I, uh, I shaved. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. I thought it was time for a change, you know? New style, change it up. No, I mean really. Oh, I was shaving my neck and I sneezed. Oh. Well, grow it back. What, right now? Yes! That's, you know, it's, uh, impossible. Well, then go lock yourself into the bathroom until you grow a beard. Oh, it's not that bad. I'm gonna go get an assignment from Chief. Man, don't let the neighbors see you. I got an image to maintain. You've reached Phone 6 Unlimited. What are you wearing, hot stuff? Barack Hussein Obama is a long-legged pimp. Hey, what's my- Get out of my office! What? Why? Because you don't- Wait. I know you, don't I? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm Luke. I, uh, I work for you. Oh, yeah. Go interview some people about that budget thing that's going on. Okay, got it. Take my money, just leave me alone! The <laughs> reporter? Really? <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am, what paper did you say you're from? But you're like 12. How are you a reporter? Are you sure? You have very feminine features. Get away from me. I'm calling the police. Is it a middle school paper? I have a taser. Seriously? A man? My seven-year-old daughter looks manlier than you. and She's a seven-year-old girl. Are you that guy's seven-year-old daughter? Not one interview? Not a single quote? I don't know what happened. Nobody would answer the question. That's it. That's the last straw. What, what are you, what are you saying? You're not the man I hired. You used to be manly and rugged like a young Norm Abram. Now look at you. You're all frail and clean shaven like Mary Kate Olsen. But you can't. I can and I am. I'm really firing you. For real. Not like in all those other episodes when I didn't actually mean it. Oh, hey, the Girl Scout meeting is... Oh, it's you. Well, I got fired. For real this time. I'm not really surprised. You don't seem that trustworthy anymore. Yeah, thanks. So what am I supposed to do now? You should get a new job. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm not getting a third job to pay your share of the rent. What? You don't have the first two jobs. All the more reason. Go make yourself useful, you slacker. Well, they said they can't hire me because, oh, hey, Dr. Carlos is here for some reason. That's great. Hey, Joe, dude, there is no way she's legal, man. What are you thinking? No, it's... You know what? I'm glad you're here. I just got turned down for a job at Burger King. Wow, that's really pathetic. Was it because you're pathetic? No, it was for two reasons. First, because they said I'm too young, which, you know, I'm not. Second, apparently I lied on my resume and don't actually have a degree. Bummer. Would you know anything about that? Oh, yeah, dude, I meant to tell you. I saw you walking down the street the other day, and I thought to myself, dude, there is no way that dude graduated from college. He reminds me way too much of a wet cat. So you revoked my degree? Well, I'm probably still dean of something, man, and I, I might have a reputation to uphold. Oh, speaking of which, Luke, we have to talk. Oh, no, what is it now? Well, now that you're a useless drain on society, I've had to bring in someone else to help out with the rent. Who? The entire Brazilian bikini team. That's... Actually, that's not bad at all. That's the opposite of bad. Well, you also have to move out. What?! They say you look like one of those creepy little purse chihuahuas and they can't live with you. So, you know, leave. Purr, dude! How could you choose... Actually, no, I don't blame you at all. Not just any bikini team. The Brazilian bikini team. From Brazil.
Well, when do I have to be out? Eleven minutes ago. They're waiting in the backyard. I'll send your things. Well, I'll go stay with Liz then, I guess. Joe just kicked me out because the Brazilian bikini team thinks I look like a tiny dog, I think. Anyway, I need a place to crash because I'm homeless now. Yeah, actually, about that, I've kind of been thinking. and You know, ever since you got laid off, things just haven't been the same. What? Well, you know, it's just that you aren't yourself. You, you had this whole tough, intelligent Abe Lincoln thing going on, and now... You just aren't as attractive anymore. You're dumping me? Yeah, I'm sorry. I think it would be best if you leave. <laughs> Chief, what are you doing here? I didn't think you ever left the newsroom. Like, ever. The Brazilian bikini team. I'll even sit near the weird one for this. So what brings you here? Yeah, I was just wondering if you needed any rent money or anything. Because, you know, ever since I dumped Luke, I've been spending way more time at work. and They promoted me. I'm filthy rich now. That's funny. Ever since I fired Luke, I've been using his salary to hire a staff of freelancers. Profits have doubled at the paper. And I discovered the true meaning of Christmas. Well, I have to run. I'm going to a fundraiser at the country club for rich and successful people. Yeah, I think I'm going to go watch the bikini team work out on the trampoline. As much as I hate to miss that, I have to get back to work. Yeah, and I'm going to go hang out with college graduates. Hi, this is Danny Willis, head writer for The Adventures of Luke and Joe, as well as the voice of Luke, Dr. Carlos, Cletus, Candy, Chief, The Evil Beaver, both nerds from 209, and everyone credited to Ash McGonagall. I'm here today to talk to you about beardlessness. We had some fun with not having a beard today, but don't be fooled. It probably won't go as well for you as it did for Luke. Having a beard is what makes men men, what separates us from apes and Swedes. It's completely crucial to success in life. Just look at these examples. Hall of Fame quarterback Dan Fouts, President Abe Lincoln, chicken magnate Kenny Rogers, noted philosopher ZZ Top, and of course bearding world champion Mr. Jack Passion. What do these men have in common aside from greatness, respect, success, and a near endless supply of women? That's right, beards. Now let's see another group of men. Hideki Tojo, Jeffrey Dahmer, Benito Mussolini, Lou Dobbs, Tom Brady, and Adolf Hitler. All losers, as well as terrible human beings, and all without beards. Coincidence? It's possible, but not likely. So men and unusually hairy women, grow a beard. It saves time in the morning, makes you far more attractive, and ensures your success in all your endeavors. Remember, if you don't have a beard, the terrorists win. <laughs> 